Tonight's Big 12 game is brought to you by Phillips 66. Next time you're empty, fill up with Phillips 66 quality propane gasolines. By Red Lobster. It's jumbo shrimp at Red Lobster starting at $11.99. By Advance Auto Parts. For the best parts, people, and prices, we're ready in advance. And by Whataburger. Just like you like it. It was just a few years ago when you came to College Station, there was no atmosphere whatsoever. Now look at it. The student section filled the capacity. 4,200 student seats went in two hours. The students are upset. They don't have more seats here at Reed Arena. But I can remember just a scant four years ago where there wouldn't be 4,200 total here at Reed Arena. So read all about it. He's in the Cowboys. These two teams, only four losses, two apiece. So they go head to head. What great matchup we're in store for here tonight. It's Eton, James on Curry, Mario Bogan, Marcus Dove, Kenny Cooper, the Achilles heel of the Cowboys. They don't go very deep. A.C. Law, Dominique Kirk, one of the best defenders in the conference. Josh Carter, one of the best shooters, not just in this conference, but in the country. Look at that, 54% from three-point range. Joseph Jones coming off back-to-back double-doubles. And then don't forget about Antonis Kavaloskis. This guy has been averaging 12 points this year, doubling his output on the offensive end from a year ago. And this place is dark now, but soon to come to light as they introduce Joseph Jones to the house. This junior out of small town in Texas. Averaging 16 points, 12 rebounds in Big 12 play. The Aggies at 3-0 in the Big 12 with Kansas losing earlier to Texas Tech. The Aggies with a chance to take sole possession of first place. When you look at the series, it has been dominated by the Cowboys. They lead overall 26-9. They have, though not defeated a top-10 team on the road since way back in Mr. Iba's days, 1958. Texas A&M, they won the last meeting, but look at that score, Stacy, 46-44. Well, when you go back to that last year's meeting, it was the last second shot by Joseph Jones at the buzzer to win that game for him. Oklahoma State's got their hands filled full tonight because this is a team that is one of the top teams defensively and offensively. They do it on both ends, and they play extremely hard. Well, you look at the Aggies. I mean, here they are at 15-2. What a resume they've had. What a season. Their two losses to LSU, 64-52. That's by far and away the worst game they've played all year. They lost to UCLA, right? They were ranked number one. They lost to the Bruins only by three, 65-62. So when you look at the Aggies, they certainly have been impressive. And Sean Sutton, his team bouncing back from that devastating 30-point loss at Kansas with that scintillating win over the Texas Longhorns in triple overtime. Sean Sutton taking over for his dad, Eddie. He's been on that sideline for a long time. Now he's the man in charge. Billy Gillespie. I don't think anyone in the country has done a, done a better turnaround job than Gillespie here at Texas A&M. Took over a team that was 0-16 in the Big 12, and here they are contending for a title. Two of the brightest young coaches on the college scene. They both are extremely liked by their players. Very good coaches. And the opening tip, it will eventually wind up in the arms of Kavaloskis, so it's the Aggies in their home white. Taking on the Cowboys in the road black, and you'll see a lot of white in the crowd here tonight. It's the whiteout. All the fans wearing white shirts. A.C. Law goes baseline uncontested. But that was just a quick move right there off a little high breast screen. Time out already. Well, I'm telling you right now, Sean Sutton didn't like that. That was way too easy. Here he is right here. He just goes off a little breast screen, just goes baseline underneath. Oklahoma State really caught sleeping right there. 
There's man-to-man, -man, there's zone, and then there's that. That's the Matador defense. That's, that's the Ole. That's, yeah, that's what we call the Ole defense, the eye pass, as I like to call it. <laughs> he just had a free trip to the basket, and, you know, you don't really want to start the game on the road like that, giving up an easy basket. So a timeout with less than 30 seconds gone. You look at the Aggies this year, ranking number one in field goal percentage defense, 34.4% scoring defense. Teams only get less than 53 points on average. Field goal percentage themselves, they're shooting 51%, which is fourth best in the country. That's an unbelievable combination. Exactly. When you look at Texas A&M, they're one of the, they're the top defensive team in the Big 12, and then you've got the number two offensive team in the Big 12 in Oklahoma State. So something's got to give. The Tom tries a three, just a little bit short. Cavalaskis makes it one and done. Well, you'll see here the Cowboys, they come in averaging 84 points a game. As you mentioned, Stacey, something's got to give. Well, this, is a good, this is a very good defensive game. And a foul on Kenny Cooper. As Jones backed into him. Cooper only played six minutes against the Texas Longhorns, suffering from the flu. They say he's okay now. But well, they're going to need him out there. They're going to need his, his strength and his rebound ability. Large shot, a little more contested that time. That was a man rebound by Mario Bolden right there. Curry pulls up for three. That's a little bit short. Cooper trying to keep it alive. Law fighting for it. Still has it across midcourt. Well, one thing about this Texas A&M team, they're very patient on their offense. They run their set, they get the best available shot. Wow, what a good spin move by Pablo Austin. Well, I watched him in practice yesterday, and I'm going to tell you something. I, was, I went away impressed with his post game. He is very good on that block. He has a lot of confidence. He's one of the most improved players in the country. Last year, they didn't count on him for any offense. He's one of their go-to guys now, Stace. Well, you definitely got to have somebody out there to get the defense to respect. Cowboys missing on three three-point attempts to begin this contest. Now Curry, but a whistle. You can't hear it over the din of the crowd, but a whistle and a call against the Aggies. Here comes Cavalier right here. Gets good post-up position on Bogan. One dribble to the middle, drop step, easy bucket. Here it is right here. Just a nice little spin move baseline. Uses the backboard for an easy two. And Alaska's out of Lithuania by way of Barton County Community College in Kansas. And almost two minutes in, the Cowboys still haven't dented the scoreboard. That's an offensive charge. Bogan picks up the call. Well, he's not happy with that right now, but that's one thing he's going to have to really be aware of because Texas A&M does a very good job on help side defense. Here it is right here. He goes baseline. Jones just steps right over here and gets the charge. Nice play. Now what Oklahoma State needs to do right now is just get under control, try to take this crowd out of it. Good luck. Davaloskis again. Davaloskis, I'm telling you, he's the wild card right now. Time out, Oklahoma State. I don't think I've ever seen a coach call two timeouts in the first two minutes and 17 seconds of a game. Well, I'm telling you right now, it looks like Oklahoma State's a little rattled right now. They're at lost their composure on the offensive end. Now they got to come out and try to stop Kavaloskis, who right now is really doing whatever he wants on that low post. Here he is with a nice little fake baseline, spins into the middle for a nice turnaround jump shot. He just did a counter move to the move he just scored when he faked middle and then went baseline. So Kavaloskis is showing you that you're going to have to give him some respect down there. And with this team, they've got a lot of weapons. Stacey, when you at first blush see that field goal percentage of 60%, you think of a guy that all he does is just shoot layups or dunks, right? Exactly. But look at that shot he just made. He's showing some more range. He's showing that he has some skills down there, and he's a force to be reckoned with. And when you have good guards like AM has, all you need is a guy down there to give you some kind of post move down there. That opens up the offense. Cowboys have been rattled by these Aggies to begin. And Curry. Look at Dominique Kirk. All oh, over he's him. Gonna, Dave, he's going to hound him all night long. He is one of the best defenders in the Big 12. Bogan, a three. That rattles home, and the Cowboys are on the board. Well, they definitely need to get him going, and you can see he can do it inside, he can do it outside. 
Lobs inside to Davalaskis and a foul. Bell got there late. Marcus Dove with the foul. Well, what you can see right now, Texas A&M trying to do is exploit the inside and trying to go right at Bogans. Here's Bogans caught behind him. Cavalaskis goes up. Now he's going to the foul line, but they have made an effort to get Cavalaskis involved early. With Cavalaskis playing so much better at such a higher level this year for the Aggies, that helps Joseph Jones so much, doesn't it? Well, it takes some of the pressure off of him. He doesn't have to worry about the double team so much, and teams really trying to take him out of the game. When you got a guy like Cavalaskis who can come down there and give you some really good minutes down low, can score for you, rebound, it takes the pressure off everybody. With you, it was Grant. Grant and King, boy, that great one-two putt for the Sooners. And you know what? I never had to really worry about double teams because when you got a guy next to you that can get 25, it takes the pressure off of him. Well, they bring in Muehlbach to shoot the free throws with Kavaloskis going out. This is like the designated shooter rule for the Aggies. <laughs> He's an 86% free throw shooter. Well, he came in and knocked him down in a pressure situation just coming off the bench cold. You just hope it's nothing serious with Kavaloskis because he's having a good game. Look at that defense by Dominique Kirk. Quick double team on Bogan. Make it a triple team. And he hits the side of the basketball standard. Carter getting it into Jones. And Cooper has just picked up his second foul. You see, now with Kavalovskis out, you have Joseph Jones now becoming the primary post-up guy. Kavalovskis with a bloody nose. Joseph Jones now the go-to guy in that low post. And checking in for the Cowboys is David Mons. With a more post defense. Carter tries a three. That's way off target. And the rebound goes out of bounds. It'll belong to the Cowboys. Well, Mons normally doesn't come in this early unless somebody's in foul trouble. But he's one of the best post defenders. Cowboys 6-0 against the state of Texas this year. In fact, they've won nine straight against teams from the Lone Star State. The last loss to anyone from this state was to these Aggies right here at College Station a year ago. And as we mentioned, 35 straight losses on the road for the Cowboys against top 10 teams. Last win for the Cowboys against the top 10 team on the road way back in 1958. Carter's pass for Muehlbach goes off his hands and out of bounds. Muehlbach pointing at himself saying, my bad. That was a nice look by Carter. Muehlbach just wasn't ready for it, kind of got away from him. Now, the one thing Oklahoma State needs to do right now is just execute their offense, set some screens, because the Texas A&M guards are playing very good, solid man-to-man -man defense. Got to start rubbing these guys off some screens. Bogan screaming for the ball. He's got a mismatch with Muehlbach guarding him. on a foul. No basket. Foul came first. That'll go against A.C. Law. So we have our first time out. It's the Aggies who win the first round. In fact, getting the Cowboys to call two timeouts. With this timeout, we're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. Aaron Cow. Cow! Yes, sweetie, cow. Cow! Paul, where are the burgers? For breakfast, try Chick fil A's tasty chicken biscuits, chicken minis, or breakfast burritos. The Brazos Valley, our home, from presidents to patriots. 
It's growing at an amazing pace, but it's still the same place where we grew up. No one knows the Brazos Valley like we do. You're Bryan College Station Realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors. Whether you're buying or selling a home, let a realtor guide you through the process. We're here when you need us, and we adhere to a strict code of ethics. To find out more, log on to bcsrealtor.com. Meet your neighbor. Meet your realtor. It's called two timeouts, and you're only down five. 15.46 left to go first half. Take a look now at our drive to Oklahoma City, brought to you by Chevrolet, an American revolution. And with Kansas losing today, their first loss in Big 12 play to Texas Tech. Both those teams now 3-1. and one. The Aggies alone unbeaten in the Big 12. Right now, with Texas losing today to Villanova out of conference, Oklahoma State at 2-1 and one on the year. Their one loss to the Jayhawks. Kansas, they've, Kansas State, I should say, they've gotten up off the mat. They lost their first two conference games. They've won their last three. And Oklahoma, the same year, Sooners at 3-2. and two. Nice win for them against Baylor today. Well, that's one thing about the Big 12 is anybody can be beaten on any given day. It's a very competitive league. Curry with a long three. Wow. He's got big time range. That's not a really, I mean, that's not a far shot for him. He can get a little screen. He can create his own shot. They just got to find ways to get him implemented in the offense quickly. There's a travel on the part of Pompey. I mean, here he is. Look at this. Coming off the screen right here. That's NBA range right there. James on Curry, one of the best shooters in the country. And you know what he noticed? Off the switch there, instead of having Dominique Kirk on him, he had Marlon Pompey. He liked that matchup better exactly. and pulled the trigger. And you saw Texas A&M, what they're doing is they're switching anytime he comes off the screen. Now you got Joseph Jones on him right now. It's a mismatch. He's calling for an ISO. Trying to get everybody to spread out. Ball on the court, picked up by Jones. Here comes Kirk. Jones has taken 15 three-pointers this year. He's hit five of them. Terrell Harris and Josh Carter, that's a good matchup. These teams really are kind of mirror images of one another, aren't they? Well, they're, they're both physical and they're very tough teams. Three-pointer, A.C. Law. And he immediately pointed to Dominique Kirk, who really helped set up the play. Well, his drive to the baseline really opened up that open jump shot by A.C. Law. He was able to kick it back out and find him at the three-point line. Five-second call. That's a win for Kirk. Here it is right here. Dominique Kirk driving baseline, gets all the Oklahoma State defenders to commit, kicks it back out for A.C. Law. The one thing you saw with A.C. Law right there was he made himself available to get that wide open jump shot. He didn't stay on one side of the court. Dominique Kirk, one of those guys as a teammate, you love guys like that, don't you? Oh, definitely, because you know what? He comes out and plays. He's going to take the, the other team's top score. He's not afraid. They're not afraid to put him on the top score, and he's going to do all the little things that's going to make your team better. That foul on Pompey there, running over Byron Eton. So Dominique Kirk, he's one of those guys that when you look at the stat page, you go, what did he really do? And then the coaches will say, oh, man, he was our MVP tonight. Because of his defense. I mean, he does all the little things defensively, gets through screens, he's fighting through. Now you see him right now in Harris, who's one of the big scores off the bench for Oklahoma State, so he's guarding him now. Oh. Bogan, he has that range. A little bit shy on the shot. Here comes A.C. Law. Law, baseline cut off. Good ball movement. Kirk with a three. Now he can hit that shot. Now he doesn't look for that very often, but he can step up and hit that three-point shot. Three-point shooting, even Steven. And a travel, another turnover. Terrell Harris turns it over for the Cowboys. Now, the one thing that OSU needs to do is just settle down. Mm -hmm. They know they're, they know right now the crowd's into the game. The Texas A&M team is feeding off the energy in here. Execute your offense, set some screens, and get guys open. And find a way to get the ball to Mario Bogan. Look at the action inside, and Jones 
backing up on Bogan. They call the foul there on Jones. That could have went either way on that situation. That could have been a number two on Mario Bogan. Good defense by him to force that call. So Jones picks up the foul. That's his first. Four on the Aggies this half. And he'll go to the line. And that foul there on Law. That's two now on AC Law. Well, Dave, what you see right now is, is that Texas A&M is really making OSU have to work on the offensive end. They're really making them have to execute. Nothing's easy. That's their that's their style, though, isn't it? I mean, they don't make it easy for anybody. Well, this, this is the team coming in that no team has scored 70 points against them. And that's an amazing feat considering the way college basketball is set up now. you got all these teams wanting to run. They're opening the court up a little bit. The three-point shot to not have a team score 70 points on you is amazing. The shot that Eton hit against Texas, the half-court shot with the shot clock down to one, that's got to be the play of the year in college basketball. You know, it could be on the Espies. could be on the Espies. It should be. It should be. I, I, I'd vote for it. That was an amazing shot. Sloan's in there now. Donald Sloan, a freshman out of Dallas. He's the top scorer for them off their bench. And a travel. And Sloan walks with it. Now five turnovers for the Aggies. And this is a team that does not turn the ball over a lot. Gillespie's not real happy. His team up seven, but he's probably thinking, man, we had... The Cowboys really on the ropes here. They're only shooting 25%. They're turning it over, and yet we don't have as big a lead as we should have. Well, he's got to be encouraged for Sean Sutton is that, hey, you know what? We're not playing our best basketball, but we're right in this game. Bogan gives it up to Curry with Kirk right on him. And a travel by Bogan. So we've got a timeout. These teams need a breather. 11.44 remaining here in the first half. It's Texas A&M off to a good start, leading by seven. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. Listen up. This is your 98th whatchamacallit. You got an F. You know what we're going to do now? No. Unpimp your auto. We just dropped it like it's hot. V-Dub, representing Deutschland. The Volkswagen GTI. 2007 Automobile of the Year. The Quiznos is like stacked with a bunch of meat and the Subway sandwiches. Like when you're in kindergarten and your mom throws some stuff together real quick. If I ran out of gas in front of a Subway place, I'd walk 10 blocks to get this. A lot of meat. A lot of meat. And you can actually see the meat coming out of the Quiznos sandwich there. Magnifico? Is that Italian? <laughs> Try Quiznos' new Ultimate Italian with a double portion of authentic Italian meats and cheeses. If you're not 100% satisfied, you'll get a free sub. Only from Quiznos. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Toasty. Nobody cuts you a better deal. Henson Ford, Madisonville. Nobody cuts you a better deal. Henson Ford, Madisonville. Section known as the Reed Rowdies, and boy, they're rowdy here tonight. Yes, they are. Right now, they have a lot of reason 
to be rowdy. Their Aggies are up seven. Hey, golf fans at Club Pros, not too early to start thinking about the 2007 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on to ESPNGolf.com, register your team, or sign up your golf course as a qualifying site. Be part of the search for America's best twosome. Stacey and I are going in as a twosome. I don't think you want me to be uh, your right, part right, there, pal. That's all right. AC Law sitting on the bench, cooling his heels with two fouls right now. So he's got to sit. Let's see where the Aggies get their leadership now. Sloan, he's the backup point guard, the freshman now. He'll have the pressure on him. Pompey getting it into Jones, and he goes straight up on Mons. Well, that was a nice play by Pompey. A little high-low action right there. Jones is being able to just seal him off and get it. For an easy two. from Dallas, Sloan from Dallas. They're no strangers to one another. Harris trying to leave it for Bogan and slapped away. Three-pointer, well, short of the target by Carter. Knocked out of bounds, though, off of the sneaker of Curry. It'll stay with the Aggies. Well, the one thing about OSU right now, they've got to start setting some screens and start trying to free up their guards because Texas A&M is putting a lot of pressure on the, in the guards in the backcourt. It's making it very difficult for OSU to run their offense. John Sutton over there brooding right now, wondering what changes is he going to make? I was visiting with him at practice, and I said, what's the one thing you probably learned more than anything else from your dad? And he said, my dad probably didn't get enough credit for being a great in-game in coach, where he made tremendous adjustments. And he said, just sitting at his side for all those years, I learned a lot about how to make adjustments as the game goes on, to try to change the complexion of the contest. What adjustments right now do you think he needs to make? Well, I think he needs to tell his team they need to settle down. You've got to start putting some bodies on people and try to slow this Texas a and defense down because, I mean, they're picking them up 75 feet, and they're really getting into the Oklahoma State guard and making it difficult for them to run their offense. Uton tries the three. That's too long. Kamaloskis. He's got the nose fixed now. The you bleeding has stopped. He's back in there. Dave, you definitely don't want to settle for jump shots against this Texas A&M team. Look at the way they pound it inside. Jones just misses. Well, they're a very physical team. Great bounce pass. Curry reverses it. Now, that's Beat where Oklahoma State wants to get out is try to get out and run a little bit. Get the rebound off the glass and try to, you know, get really set up something before Texas a and can set up that defense. You saw right there, just running a fast break. Coach Gillespie telling us that he's very concerned about his team's transition defense. Bodies flying everywhere. And let's see, they've got Eton with a foul. It is right here going baseline. Well, they got Mons instead. Eton took the brunt of it, but Mons gets the foul. Just a little bit late over there. Mons got him with the body. So now Carter, 24 of 27 from the line this year. You see, a player, player like Carter who is shooting from the three-point line like he is, 54%, been 60% over the last eight games, that's going to set up a lot of drive opportunities for him because he's such a good three-point shooter, as you saw there as he's going to the basket. Got his brother Warren at Illinois. The Illini took a tough loss today, losing to Wisconsin. They had the Badgers beaten, and then all of a sudden Wisconsin came back in the closing moments of that game in the Big Ten. Well, Wisconsin's one of the better teams in the country, and Illinois is a down year right now. They don't have the talent that they normally used to have and struggle a little bit. John trying to take Sloan to the basket. Good rebound by Cooper, has it blocked away. There's got to be a foul somewhere as Terrell Harris goes up. Second chance opportunity right there, just crashing the boards. It is right here. A little mid-range jump shot didn't go. But look at all the white shirts down there underneath the basket. And he picks up the foul. I just call him Junior. It's a lot easier to say it in his name, which is... Chinamalu Alanu. You, you can go with Junior, can't you? I can go with Junior. All right, we're going with Junior. The rest of the way, then. <laughs> well, he's bringing, he's bringing some height in there, some shot blocking right. ability. He's a good athlete. They really are high on him.
Texas A&M goes about eight deep. It could go more. Billy Glass would like to go a little bit deeper. Here's one of the adjustments Coach Sutton is making right now. A little bit of court pressure. Full court pressure. Try to turn it up a little bit. Texas A&M is a deliberate team. They like to run their sets. The full court pressure there, Stacy, is that designed to get a steal, or is it just designed to change tempo of the game? Just change the tempo of the game because Texas A&M is a team that likes to come in and run their half court sets. They're not a running team. They can run, but they prefer to play a half court set. This is Oklahoma State's way of trying to, you know, speed it up a little bit, get them out of rhythm. Plus, a good time to do it with AC Law sitting on the bench. Carter for three. No, he's 0 for the game now from three point range, and a foul on the rebound. That's going to go against Junior. Well, again, Dave, what you see is it just speeds up the pace a little bit, trying to make Texas A&M play at a faster pace. And that was a quick shot by Carter right there. Even though he's one of the better three-point shooters, that was a very quick three. Right, Cooper now going to the line. 17 fouls on the Aggies. Cooper 69% from the line this year. That's what he's shooting into. And you can see why he would miss. Logan Lee. And this is where Oklahoma State can really pick up the pressure right now. Cavalosis. Cavalosis with a strong right hand drive to the basket. No one from Oklahoma State stepped up to take a charge. He's the leading scorer for the Aggies with a half dozen. Well, right now he becomes the primary scorer inside. He's Joseph Jones out. Blocking foul. Eton goes in hard. He'll shoot some free throws. Well, Byron Eton right now is probably just basically trying to take it on his shoulders to try to get something get to the basket. Saw it now in the last couple of possessions, driving to the hole, trying to draw contact. Foul there was on Carter. It's his first. 18 fouls on the Aggies this half. Five on the Cowboys. Two of those on Cooper. Well, Oklahoma State's got to try to take some take advantage of Texas a and having A.C. Law out of the game right now with two fouls and Joseph Jones out of the game right now. Kind of tweaked that ankle against Texas and just tweaked it again on that drive to the basket. Well, I'll tell you right, he's fearless. I mean, he's gone to the basket hard and strong and knows he's going to get contact. He goes in there hard and gets the foul. Scored 11 points against the Longhorns in that Three overtime thriller. Jones checking back in. Also coming in for the Cowboys as Junior takes a seat. Coming in for Oklahoma State, their walk on. Tyler Hatch, who played so well against Texas, played 33 minutes in that game. Eight point lead for the Aggies, nearing the eight minute mark. Cooper fighting for position in the paint. And a foul here on Eton trying to hold things out. Now he'll come out of the contest. Well, there was some jockeying for position inside with Cooper and Jones. As you can see, it was a matter of time before the officials called that. Galoskis run free. A missed assignment to the Cowboys. Well, Cavalosis, you can see that the Texas A&M players have a lot of confidence in him. They're looking for him. Anytime he's rolling to the basket, they're trying to find him. He has given them a big boost here in the first half. You see Texas A&M switching anytime the guards come off screen. Might that be something that the Cowboys will try to exploit as this game goes on? Exactly. You've got to make that adjustment in the second half, and I'm sure Sean Sutton will be looking at that going into the halftime. What will be interesting is if they make that adjustment, foul here on Hatch, will there be a counter adjustment by Gillespie? Oh, that's the game within the game. A little chess match going on. But right now, it's all Cavaloskis. Eight points in the first half on four of four shooting. And the Aggies have a commanding lead. We're back after this.
Phillips, 66. No curb appeal. Hate the color. Oh, honey, this is it. Well, what you got there is an infestation. A lot of life happens in your car. Phillips 66 quality Pro Clean gasolines help clean your engine as you drive. The pink wasn't so bad. So you can focus on more important things. Phillips 66 quality Pro Clean gasolines. Come on, guys. Hey, Shut you want anything? Uh, just g give me a burger. With what? Um, everything. Big play here. Looking left, throws incomplete. Um. I think you need to come in here. There are more than 36,000 ways to have a Whataburger, and the decision is all yours. What a burger! Just like you like it. We dub here in full effect with Trey and this why. What time is it? I don't know. Time to unpimp the auto. Snap! German engineering in the house. The Volkswagen GTI. 2007 Automobile of the Year. We went to this trendy department store where we secretly replaced the Stevens family Toyota Sienna with a new Dodge Grand Caravan. Let's watch. Hey, where's all my stuff? Check the storage bins beneath the seats, Jimmy. In floor storage? Nice. Look! Instant cargo room. Dito. Close, Jimmy. It's called Stow and Go, and no other minivan has it. I'm impressed. We also replaced Mr. Stevens with a studlier, more handsome man. Woo! <laughs> Compare for yourself, and you'll see there's no comparison. This ESPN Plus game brought to you by Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. Well, these Aggie fans... Right now, I've got to be thrilled with the way their Texas A&M guys are playing. Shooting 61% so far to take a 10-point lead on the Cowboys. We're just 3 of 13. They've only made one two-pointer in this game. AC Law sitting right now with two fouls. And you have the luxury with a 10-point lead to go ahead and let him sit on the bench. Cavalaskis has been the story. Four of four from the field with four rebounds. Eight points so far for this Lithuanian. But Dave, what they've done early, Texas A&M has really tried to establish the inside game against the smaller Cowboys. 12 points in the paint for A&M, Stace. Two. Two for the Cowboys. Well, that's surprising, too, because, you know, right now, Oklahoma State is living on the perimeter shot right now. They've got to get something going to the basket. They've got to try to get Mario Bogans involved because he's the guy that they live and die on. They use him on the inside, James John Curry on the outside, and right now they're struggling. We well, inside the numbers here between the Aggies and the Cowboys. Field goal shooting, a huge edge there for Texas A&M. An edge on the glass, big edge in the paint. And that's what you would call pretty much total domination by one team. The only thing really keeping the Cowboys in this right now, all the fouls for Gillespie's team. And sending the Cowboys to the line. Well, this Texas A&M team comes into the game number one in def defensive field goal percentage. Teams are shooting 34% against them. You know, I agree with what you're saying about getting Bogan more involved, trying to get him the paint or get him the ball in the paint. He's only one of four in this game. Do you say I mean, Bogan against Kansas scored only eight points? Then he comes out and has that breakout game against Texas, who scores 37. So you're thinking, all right, are they a little intimidated right now against these Aggies? Well, you, you, if, you, if you look, the two games that he struggled were, were on the road. You know, he was at home. He had a great game against Texas. But this is where, you know, the big players, the big-time players step up. You know, when you're on the road, you know, you, you really got to like being on the road, being in a hostile environment. This is where you really want to have your A game. But it's not all him, though. They've got to help get him the They've ball. They've got to get him the ball. And what you see, though, Dave, is that Texas A&M is putting so much pressure on the guards that they're not allowing Oklahoma State to really get into their sets. Good step back by Josh Carter. So they've got to do a better job of freeing up these guards, come up, set some high screen rolls, 
free James R. Curry up so he can get the ball inside. Bogan has really settled for outside shots. I mean, Texas A&M is right in their shirt. They're switching on screens, and they're communicating on defense. Mons can't hit from the wing. You see right now, that's the best shot available to Oklahoma State is a 15 to 17 foot jump shot, yeah. which they're not hitting. With under 10 on the shot clock. They worked around to get that. Foul here on Terrell Harris. That's one on him. Phillips 66 proud to be the presenting sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Next time you're on empty, fill up with Phillips 66. Quality Pro Clean Gasolines recognized as top tier. They help clean your engine as you drive. Kirk. You know, when you look up a Dominique Kirk in the college basketball dictionary, you just see a guy solid, solid. I mean, that's what you would say about him. He is solid in every department. Well, you look at his season stats right there. He's under seven points a game, 3.6 rebounds, 3.4 assists. He does all the little things that go unnoticed that a coach would absolutely say, we couldn't win if this kid was not on the floor. He probably could score a lot more than what he's scoring. He's a very unselfish player. He knows his role on this team. And that's one thing about this Texas a team. They know their role. They're, everyone knows their role on this team from 1 through 20. How valuable is Kirk? He has played 80 games in his career here at Texas A&M, now in his junior campaign, and he has started all 80. And you, you come back next season, this will be his team. He will be more of a scorer next year, and you'll see his game evolve. Because he's already one of the top defenders in the Big 12, if not in the country. Kirk, by the way, with a foul on that last play, and it got his coach's attention. That's two fouls on Kirk now. So James on Curry going to the line. So what you saw there, though, Dave, was a screen. They set a screen on Kirk, was able to rub him off. That freed up James on Curry for a shot. And that's what Oklahoma State's going to have to do, start putting body on people. Because they are a physical team. They're one of the physical teams in the Big 12. And this Texas A&M is one of the physical teams in the Big 12. And Velasquez might have gotten away with a travel. Byron Eaton uh, able to tip that away. Now here comes Curry. Leaves it for Harris. Bogan draws the crowd. A triple team, and he wisely passed out of it, but Harris misses the chip shot. Well, that was a nice pass by Mario Bogan, realizing there's a triple team on him. Finding the open man, Harris just missed a little gimme. I guess when you score 37 points with 20 rebounds, you get the other team's attention in the scouting report. Exactly. And he's one of the top scorers in the Big 12. He's second in the Big 12 in scoring with 22 points a game. So he's going to demand the respect of the other team. He's going to get doubled and triple team. Other guys have to step up and help him. Mons with a ninth team foul for the Cowboys this half. That will send Jones to the line. Jones a very good free throw shooter. 85% on the year. That's second best in the conference. Well, Texas A&M in general is a very good free throw shooting team. Sure are, 74%. The Cowboys, 75%. So you're looking at the top two free throw shooting teams in the conference here tonight. 15 point lead for the Aggies, matching their biggest of the game. Now you see Texas A&M extending the pressure. They're just playing straight man to man. I haven't seen a zone all night. They get right after you. Why would you go to a zone when you've got them at three exactly, for 15? Exactly, exactly. Huh? They don't play a lot of zone down here. If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Fourth time turnover. Another. That's eight now. Eight on the Cowboys. And that's something Sean Sutton was really concerned about coming down here is just the turnovers. This is not a team you want to turn the ball over against. I think that things like that are especially grading to set good block by wow. Logan. Wow. I mean, he's, a, he's a former point guard, so he just hates turnovers. Oh, exactly. Harris for three. Got it. Big three for the Cowboys. And he's going to be a big-time player for him. He is very smooth. Can play all three for, um, guard positions. 
Sloan from the wing. He enters with a three of his own. Baton fell down, and Sloan was all by his lonesome in the corner. He found out he slipped on a wet spot right there. So you see the field goal shooting. Decidedly an edge for Gillespie's Aggies. His team ranked number eight. Sean Sutton, his team, ranked number 14 on the ESPN coaches poll. But, boy, not tonight, not in terms of shooting. They're, this is a team that's ninth in the USA in field goal percentage at 50%. Ninth. And they're struggling like this here tonight. Well, with this, this man pressure defense that Texas a is putting on these guys, you can see why they're not shooting very good tonight. I mean, they're contesting every shot. They're in their face every time they get a ball. No, there's no plays off for Texas a Billy Gillespie would not allow his players to take plays off. Or you'll be sitting next to him. Logan screaming for it. Bad pass by Curry. Got bailed out. Logan will pull up a long two. And tipped out by Mons. It'll go to the Aggies. And that's the play right there. You see Bogan. We'd like to see him drive to the basket on, on the big fella. So we'll see what Sean Sutton draws up. His Cowboys down 33 to 18 in College Station. Yo, B-Dub got Mike in the house. What's up? And he's tricked out Vip. Yo, Mike, you want us to unpimp this thing? Let me hear you say, what? What? B-Dub holding it down on the engineering tip, y'all. Yeah. The Volkswagen GTI. 2007 Automobile of the Year. In Italy, you'll find Florence. In this case, Florence is a cow. And important because Italian cheesemakers wanted to make the best Parmesan and more of it. Knowing that cows fed certain feeds produced higher yields of Parmesan, Cargill developed special feeds and a supply chain so the cheesemakers get just the right milk. Now Florence, the cow, delivers lots of quality Parmesan to Florence, the city. This is how Cargill works with customers. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. Do you remember when we learned that too much of anything isn't good? Ah! 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 Yes. Well, let's apply that lesson to enjoying Guinness. Apply previously learned lessons of moderation to drinking Guinness. Brilliant! Please enjoy Guinness Draft responsibly. This ESPN Plus game brought to you by Whataburger, just like you like it. All right, Professor King, take us to your chalkboard. Well, we're going to see why Mario Bo Bogans is struggling right now. Now, freeze it right now. As you can see, he's got Kavaloskis right there on him. He can go right or he can go left. This is a mismatch. He settles for the jump shot. Go ahead and roll it. He's got isolation. He settles for the jump shot right there when he might have should have just took it to the basket and tried to really put pressure on Kavaloskis to move his feet. Now, he's got to start realizing when he's got a mismatch. That's a mismatch for him with his quickness. He should be able to drive right by him and really get to the basket, maybe on a three-point play. But they've got to, OSU's got to get something going to the basket, not relying so much on the jump shot. Well, you wondered coming in, you both were saying something's got to give with Oklahoma State's high-powered offense or Texas A&M's high-powered defense. It's the offense of the Cowboys that's the thing that gave so far here tonight. Well, there's a lot of contact there with no whistle. So they're letting him play. Curry picked up his dribble now, gives it up to Cooper. Bogan, a double 
team was coming, and both there you go. spun away from it. There you go. You saw the double team, went inside with it, just a nice little jump up to the middle. That's where he needs to be in there. Get him going inside. Let them double team. He's got good shooters on the perimeter. He'll find you. You can see Oklahoma State now is starting to pick up the pressure defensively. Really good defense for the Cowboys until the very end when Josh Carter made a flash to the basket and Harris got their lead. Here it is right here. He's going to the hole. Lee's going to the hole. They pick him up nice. But then right here, just falls asleep for a second. Terrell Harris just falls asleep for that one split second. Gets a cut back door for a possible, almost a three-point play. Carter at the line shooting two. It's almost a gimme two points the way he shoots free throws. And again, AC Law, he set up most of this half with two fouls. Big cheer here for Kavaloskis, who's had a huge first half with 10 points. Well, he gave him a big boost early. They really tried to establish him on the post to start the game. And they've just been feeding off it ever since. So Kavaloska is able to rest now the rest of the way with a big 15-point Aggie lead. Martellus Bennett, who is all Big 12 as a tight end for the football team, has checked in for the Aggies. You talk about depth. Man, no one has more depth than Texas A&M. Well, they, they really... Oh, that's a nice shot right there by James John Curry. Ten points for Curry to keep the Cowboys at least within... And a bad pass here by Sloan. Well, here you, you have Texas A&M. Their two guards are out now. A.C. Law's out. Dominique Kirk is out. And now James on Curry has somebody now on him that he could probably take advantage of now. You have Sloan on him. It's a tough matchup for Sloan. Curry goes back door into Bogan and a whistle and a foul first. Oh, and Bogan, and he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Martellus Bennett. CSPN Plus game brought to you by Volkswagen GTI, Automobile Magazine's 2007 Automobile of the Year. Bogan a little shaken up there. He got hit by the football player. Bennett put the body on him. Come on the second half. Let's put the pads on. Let's get the helmet. Yeah, forget basketball. Let's put the helmet and the pads on. Well, the Cowboys could be Bowman, huh? Yeah, it, this could be an all Big 12 battle on the football field, <laughs> on the basketball court. Bogan, if he chose to play football, he'd be some kind of tight end. Yes, he has the body. Cavalasca's checking back, and we thought he would rest the rest of the half, but I think. Coach Gillespie a little bit afraid. This lead, this big lead that they built up is going to slip away before halftime. Well, you can see now Oklahoma State starting to get a little bit more relaxed now. They're starting to really get a feel for what they need to do on offense. Wow, what a move by Sloan. Well, that was too easy right there. He just beat Byron Eaton right there off the dribble. Texas A&M does a good job of coming back over on the baseline to help defense. Into Jones. A reach in. Who'd they get, Bogan? Mario Bogan's got a reach in right there. That's two on Bogan. Here's Sloan's drive right here. He just goes a hesitation dribble. No one picks him up. He goes all the way to the basket. Bogan really got in his own teammate's way, didn't he? He didn't well, help out. Well, he just kind of set the pick on his man, and they've got to do a better job of communicating. I think they were kind of caught off guard with the quickness of Sloan because he had that little hesitation dribble, just exploded with the right hand. We talked about great free throw shooting by the Aggies. How about tonight? Well, I just jinxed him. Well, you just jinxed him. They're now 13 of 14, though. <laughs> 13 of 14 for the game. That's still very impressive. Under a minute to go, first half. Mario Bowman's got to be very careful. You don't want to pick up a third. 
mismatch as Kevaloskis took him outside. Tried to get it streaking Logan Lee, and it went off his hands out of bounds. Well, one thing with OSU, when they realize that they've got a big guy stepping out on the screen with the guard, then that means that the big guy inside has a guard on him. That's right. And you have to get the ball inside to him. That's the mismatch that you want. And what they've done is they've settled for taking the big guy out instead of having exactly. their big guy exactly. go in. And, and you're not going to beat this team doing that. You've got to expose them when they do that. Stacy, that's a great point. Curry will hit another three with now, the big guy. Now, unless you're James R. Curry <laughs> and you can pull up from anywhere on the court, you can take advantage of that mismatch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're changing our game. Yeah, plan. we're changing it. It all depends on who the player is. You know, 20 <laughs> seconds ago, we had a really good point until this. <laughs> well, here it is. It's a nice screen right there by Bogan, and he finds the mismatch. As you can see, it was a big switching out. Kavalaska switched out on Curry. He has the one on one skills to break. But a guy like Byron Eaton, who's only averaging, you know, less than seven points a game, yeah. you've got to throw that ball inside. Well, you know, if you're the Cowboys right now, you're thinking, I don't think we can play much worse, and we're within 10. Well, I mean, they started to really settle down on the offensive end, starting to try to get the ball inside. You know, Bogan's picked up that, that second foul, so you really don't want to, you know, you're lucky he didn't pick up a third one going in at halftime. But I'm going to tell you right now, you know, you've got to make those adjustments at halftime and let the players know, hey, you know what, we get that switch, we got to realize where the switch is and take advantage of it. Yeah, that's the biggest adjustment. Now, Bogan, he'll sit the rest of the half because he has two fouls. No need for him to pick up a silly third here with just 21 seconds remaining. Bogan in the first half had seven points, three rebounds. James on Curry led the way. AC Law is going to play right now, and I'm sure very cautiously with two fouls of his own. But they're on offense, so they would go for the last shot. Why not bring Law in here? Very little chance he'll pick up a foul. We'll just try to get him, get him loose a little bit. He's been sitting for off a long time. Sloan drives baseline. Carter. That one out of contact. From half court. Would have counted had it gone, but it's wide left. And a wild first half comes to a close. Billy Gillespie upset as he leaves the court. His team did a lot of good things, though, in that first half, shooting 55%, holding the Cowboys to just 33%. And at the half, it's the Aggies with a 10-point advantage, 33-28. to 28. Come on, guys. Hey, Shut you want anything? Uh, just g give me a burger. With what? Um, everything. Big play here. <laughs> Looking left, throws incomplete. Um, I think you need to come in here. There are more than 36,000 ways to have a Whataburger, and the decision is all yours. What a burger! Just like you like it. Winter, a time to raise the heat. But as anticipation builds, the question remains, how to exceed expectations? Patience, because a game breaks down in time. Be wary of the minutes, but it's the seconds that change everything. For the moment will fall, so take the risk and play like there's no tomorrow. The NCAA Winter Championships on ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPNU. Working from home changed my life. It all started when I was referred by this free service. All you need is a computer and a little belief in yourself. With all the money I made working from home, I bought a new home. This is the one website you have to visit. I love the lifestyle my home business offers. And the money's great, too. If you're not working from home, then you're missing out on your share of a multi-billion dollar industry. I make over $7,000 a month working part-time. I'm making $5,000 a month. Never thought I'd make this much right out of school. I actually like what I do now, and I'm making more than ever. Put your computer to work now. My goal for next month is $20,000. Working from home changed my life. This is the one website you have to visit. I love working from home. Ready for more money? Start earning extra money yourself by going to this website today. Log on to 25earn.com now. 
Welcome back to Reed Arena. Halftime here with the Aggies leading 38 to 28. Let's take a look at our Phillips 66 Player of the Week. And he's won it more than once, folks. It is Kevin Durant of the Texas Longhorns. Look at that week. First freshman in Big 12 history to win the Player of the Week more than once. Stacey, this kid's potential, well, his game right now is great, but his potential is unlimited. Well, I'm telling you, I've got a chance to watch him at least six times this year, and every time I've seen him, I've come away more and more impressed. He does it on both ends of the court. He rebounds, he scores, and he can shoot from any place on the court. But what I like about him, Dave, is he has a great understanding of the game for freshmen. Well, he had an off day today against Villanova, but still you can't take anything away with this kid as a freshman, maybe the best freshman. I've ever seen. We'll be back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. Cow! Good, Aaron, cow. Cow! Yes, sweetie, cow. Cow! Paul... Where are the burgers? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits, Chicken Minis, or Breakfast Burritos. Own a timeshare or campground membership? Turn it into cash. Timeshares only got us our full asking price before our next monthly payment was due. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one, most successful timeshare agency, representing properties from the biggest names in the industry. No one sells more timeshares. Call now and receive a free information kit, including 10 secrets to timeshares. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Don't delay. Call 800-464-3216. Our name, Independent Harley Davidson Buell, College Station, Texas. Looking for the best selection in porcelain and ceramic tile flooring? You're sure to find it at Aggieland Carpet One. You're the one, you're the one, you're the one for me. It's true. We've put together the finest selection of porcelain and ceramic tile in Texas. Aggieland Carpet One is the area's best choice for tile flooring. Come see our new showroom. And let us show you all the ways Aggieland Carpet One can help beautify your home. Aggieland Carpet One, the one store for your perfect floor. Congratulations, Katie. Job well done in the classroom. We'll come back to College Station in a moment. The Aggies leading by 10. We'll show you some highlights from the first half in just a moment. My husband and I are constantly on the go. What with work and shuttling the kids between ballet and soccer practice. Come on, kids. It's hard to find time to care for our lawn. It's easy to overlook your lawn when you lead a busy life. That's where Scott's Lawn Service can help. Hi, I'm Ashton Ritchie with the Scott's Company. Just because you don't have the time doesn't mean you can't have a great lawn. Just give Scott's Lawn Service a call. A Scott's specialist will inspect your lawn and design a program specifically suited to its needs. And we apply Scott's proven products to your lawn. With Scott's Lawn Service, you'll never again face lawn problems alone. And of course, Scott's Lawn Service is guaranteed. You don't sign any contract, and you can stop the service at any time. Give Scott's Lawn Service a call. Get the convenience of a lawn service and the confidence of knowing it's Scott's. For a free, no-obligation lawn analysis, call now, 800-238-1400. That's 800-238-1400. With my credit, I never thought I'd qualify for a new computer. But with Blue Hippo, all I need is a home phone and a checking account, and approval is guaranteed. 
We're talking to people who have discovered Blue Hippo Funding's guaranteed approval program. It doesn't matter if you have bad credit or no credit because we don't check your credit. Your approval is guaranteed with just an active checking account. I started my own home business, something I never could have done without a computer. And if you call an order now, we'll include this ultra-thin 20-inch LCD TV complete with mounting brackets and speakers absolutely free. And we'll also include this color printer absolutely free. These accessories are free when you call an order now. I don't know why anyone wouldn't take advantage of this. It's a great offer. Mom, can I go on the computer now? No, just a minute. This is your chance to get a brand new brand name computer from Blue Hippo, regardless of your credit. And by calling and ordering now, you'll receive this color printer and this 20 inch flat panel LCD TV for free. So call in 10 minutes. Halftime from College Station with Texas A&M leading Oklahoma State in this battle of the top 15s. 38-28, our score. Hi again, everyone. I'm Dave Armstrong, along with former OU All-American Stacy King. And Stacy, Oklahoma said they just conceded the paint in that first half. They are outscored by the Aggies 14-4 inside the paint. Well, what you saw with Texas A&M, they tried to exploit the inside presence of, of Oklahoma State. They're smaller. Texas A&M is bigger. They tried to get Cavaloskis in there early. He did that, and that really started this whole onslaught. Cavaloskis was terrific in that first half. Normally, when you think of Texas A&M, you think of two guys, Joseph Jones and A.C. Law. They were good, but Cavaloskis was great. Well, he got him off to a good start. He had great energy. He had nice bounce in his step, and he really was going down there with a purpose on the inside. So let's check out some first half highlights brought to you by Shelter Insurance. Here we go right now. He just goes inside, fakes middle, spins baseline. Nice drop step for two. Here he is right here, takes the ball from about 20 feet, puts it on the floor, says he can dribble, goes to the hole. And then a nice basket cut right there. That's just confidence in his teammates finding him with an easy dunk. For the Cowboys, it was James on Curry with 13 first points. Well, they point. need more of this, Dave. I mean, the high screen roll right there. He comes back, hits a three-point shot. Here he comes down, transition, getting an easy bucket, just running hard, finishing on the break. And then right here, coming back, nice little inside move, step back, three-point shot. He's been the hot man for him. For all your insurance needs, visit shelterinsurance.com to find the shelter agent near you. Seek shelter today. So James on Curry with 13 points, giving the Cowboys a ray of hope here. But right now, it's the Aggies leading at 38-28. Back with a second half in a moment. I really like this breakfast bistro sandwich. Oh, this bacon great. is great. Well, you know, in Italy, bacon is called pancetta. How do you know that? As a guy, I pretty much know everything there is to know about bacon. It's encoded into our DNA at birth. I have some things encoded on my DNA. Oh, yeah? I like I'm able to sense when you're just full of it. Bacon breakfast bistro sandwich, only at Sonic. Bacon, eggs, and cheese on toasted ciabatta bread. Try one with the cranberry juice or any other juice, because Sonic is your ultimate drink stop. No curb appeal. Oh, honey, this is it. Well, what you got there is an infestation. A lot of life happens in your car. Phillips 66 quality Pro Clean gasolines help clean your engine as you drive. The pink wasn't so bad. So you can focus on more important things. Phillips 66 quality Pro Clean gasolines. Own a timeshare or campground membership? Turn it into cash. Timeshares only got us our full asking price before our next monthly payment was due. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one, most successful timeshare agency, representing properties from the biggest names in the industry. No one sells more timeshares. Call now and receive a free information kit, including 10 secrets to timeshares. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Don't delay. Call 800-464-3216. Looking for the best selection in porcelain and ceramic tile flooring? You're sure to find it at Aggieland Carpet One. You're the one, you're the one, you're the one for me. It's true. We've put together the finest selection of porcelain and ceramic tile in Texas. Aggieland Carpet One is the area's best choice for tile flooring. Come see our new showroom. And let us show you all the ways Aggieland Carpet One can help beautify your home. Aggieland Carpet One, the one store for your perfect floor. Reed Arena white out here today, sold out for this game against the 14th-ranked Cowboys. Texas A&M using their home court advantage, leading 
38 to 28. Time now for the Sonic Tot Rejection of the Week. Today's Rejection of the Week is brought to you by Sonic. Rejected! And it's Julian Wright. And not only a rejection, he just rips the ball away. And Stacy, you're kind of crying foul here, saying, wait a minute, that's not a rejection, come on. Come on, I know we can find a better rejection than that. You know, you're a Kansas guy, you probably picked that. No, I'm not a Kansas oh, guy, I'm a Big 12 guy. You're a Big 12 guy, okay. You had to have somebody, though. It came well, well, you know what, that was, that was, a, that was an okay block, but I, I've seen better. All right, let's speak of the Big 12 Conference. Here's what happened today in the Big 12. Kansas State, a very impressive win on the road at Hilton Coliseum. Where's the Hilton magic? Iowa State goes down by nine. Texas losing on the road at Villanova, 76-69 the final Durant with only a dozen points on four of 15 shooting. He really had an off day. And then Oklahoma, they were down early and then blew out the Baylor Bears, 91 to 51. Nate wow. Carter came up with 22 points and nine rebounds. Also in the Big 12 today, it was Texas Tech. They beat Kansas, handing the Jayhawks their first conference loss, 69-64, in a very icy Lubbock, Texas. And Nebraska looked extremely impressive against Colorado, beating the Buffs 71-50. Marich had 28 points for the Huskers. Here from College Station, it's Texas A&M leading by 10. An advanced look at upcoming games brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts for the best parts, people, and price. We're ready in advance. Well, coming up next, it's Bedlam. You always look forward to that game. Oh, you? always. And Nothing like it. It'll be Monday night. Oklahoma in Stillwater against the Cowboys. Then a home game against Iowa State. Road game at Colorado, and then Bedlam again on February the 7th. And for Texas A&M, boy, how about this road? At Tech, Oklahoma and Iowa State at home, then they go to Kansas on February the 3rd, and Texas at home, boy, the first week of February, really setting up for this Aggie team. And right now, I'd have to say, Texas A&M is playing better than anybody else in the conference. Well, right now, if you look at you know, all the way the teams are playing, this is probably the best team in the Big 12. I mean, the way they play defense, defense is always going to keep them in games. If they're struggling with their shot, they can always keep their defense. Got to learn the signs here, Stace. They teach them young. Everybody has a sign. You know, you got the hook em horns, and <laughs> the Aggies have their sign, and, you know, you got the shooters going on out there at Texas Tech. The Baylor Bears have a little growl. Uh, so, yes, I saw that. The leading scorers in this game. Curry kept the Cowboys at least within striking distance with 13 points. Bogan wound up with seven on two of six shooting. Harris had six. Kavalaskis was four of six from the field, two of two from the line. Carter with six, four others with five each for Texas A&M. And Texas A&M also did a great job at the line where they went 13 of 14. So here comes Antonis Kavalaskis. He scored those 10 points. His career high came against Pacific this year when he scored 23. Well, the way he ended the first half didn't surprise me if he doesn't go for a career high. What's it feel like as a player coming out of the second half? Is it hard or is it easy to get your motor running again? Well, you're at home. It's easy to get your, your motor running. I mean, you got the crowd behind you. And what he has to do is just continue to play like he played in the first half. Don't try to do too much. Take what the defense gives you and give, give Texas A&M that inside presence that they need. Love to see the adjustments these coaches made in that locker room. So here's that switch right here. We talk about a mismatch. Cooper calling for it. Cowboys showing patience here. Shot clock down to nine. Now a two. And an air ball thrown up. Well, the, the one thing about Oklahoma coming back at halftime, you got to figure you, get, you can't play any worse than what you played in the first half. Kavalaskis sealed off by Bogan, then kicked out of bounds by Bogan. And it will.
will stay with the Aggies. But one thing going against OSU right now is the Texas A&M team is 15-0 when leading at halftime. Has it stripped by Bogan and it went off of Cavalaskis's shin, and that'll belong to the Cowboys. Good defense there by Bogan. Well, Cavalaskis is still being aggressive. You can see he just went to the hole strong. Bogan just got a hand in there, and knocked that ball off his leg. This is a little bit of an adjustment here with Byron Eton bringing the ball up against AC Law. That gives James on Curry a bit of a breather. He doesn't have to work so hard against Dominique Kurt. Doug throws up something in the paint. That won't go. He gets the own, his own rebound. And then an offensive charge. Well, you saw Doug there just rush his shot a little bit. You know, take his time right there. It's an easy bucket. Here he is right here. He goes up. And that's definitely a charge. But on his first shot, he had a nice opportunity. A little five-foot, little jump hook. Kind of rushed his shot. The Texas a and is not known to be a shot-blocking team. They're a good defensive team, but they're not one of the top shot blocking teams in the Big 12. So you can go right at him. Wall with the travel. Shaky start for these two teams. It is right here. Just gives a little shot, but he runs into his own man. Kind of lost his balance right there. Good call. So now it's James on Curry with it. Well, Oklahoma State's got a chance here. They just got to relax and just run their offense. They were down by as many as 15 in this game. When you think about it, Dave, they've had opportunities to cut into this lead. Last two possessions had a turnover. And some tough shots. Not going down. There's that high pick you were looking for. Good pass inside. Bogan, he finds Cooper. Nice interior passing. Nice job right there by Bogan. Realized he couldn't go back to the other side. Finds Cooper cutting to the basket. So Coach Sutton noticed the same thing we did. Only four points in the paint by the Cowboys in the first half. And they deliver in the paint on their few possessions here. So Sutton looking up now, seeing his team back within eight. Well, Oklahoma State's capable of scoring inside. They have the ability to score inside as well as outside. They just have to take advantage of some of the mismatches that are being presented out there and recognizing that, not rush their shots. See up on the state now, extending their defense. Just a little ball pressure right there, extending their defense a little bit, making Texas A&M have to come out and go get the ball. Do you sense a momentum switch? Well, right now, you, you've got to like OSU's chances right now. They're starting to relax a little bit. They're starting to extend their defense. They're starting to rotate a little bit better. Now, on the offensive end, start recognizing the mismatches that you saw on the first couple possessions. They've got inside when the little guys are on the big guys. It's almost like you try to set some of those high screens to invite the switches, right, and get the mismatches. Well, exactly. They're so worried about Curry that any time he comes off the screen, they're going to switch. Pompey trying to hold Bogan out of the paint. He's whistled for the foul. That's two on Marlon Pompey. You see, that's what you see, Dave. They're so worried about James on Curry coming off screens. They want to make sure he does not come off open. So they're willing to switch right now. Well, look at Cooper, Cooper and Jones. Jones. They're battling. That's a great catch by Cooper. Seal, though, underneath the basket. That's good post position. Good pass. Three-pointer no good. And smallest man on the court rips it down. Here comes Eton. Well, this is where Oklahoma State is at its best right there in transition. James right on there. Curry in transition that's with where, the big three. That's where they want to really attack Texas A&M is to get the ball off the glass when they're able to Texas A&M set up on their defense. Five unanswered points by the Cowboys to begin the second half. Pompey, not much of a scoring threat. Jones was wide open for the longest of times underneath the basket. Good find by Pompey. Last second was able to find Jones. Here it is right here. They get in transition. Curry on the secondary break finds that three-point line where he's one of the best shooters in the conference. 
tonight, Curry, four of six from beyond the arc. On the year, 42%. Well, he's, he's really carried this team in the first half. When they didn't have anything going, he was the one that really tried to, you know, keep this team in the game. Dominique Kirk, they pride themselves here at AM to point out that he has shut down so many scores through the years. But tonight, James on Curry still getting his points. Good pass from Pompey, and Jones lays it in. But that was all set up on the screen roll and a dive by Jones. Pompey being able to find him. He got the crowd back in it. Eton, nice little stop step. Nice strong move by Eton. He's a strong little guard. Pompey waiting for the traffic to clear. It never does, and Pompey throws it out of bounds. And a timeout with 15 five remaining. It's the Cowboys taking it to the Aggies this half. Byron Eton goes into the land of the Giants. We're back after this from Phillips 66. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. Silverado. Plus, their guard play is so much stronger. They can basically go nine people deep yeah. and not lose anything. You no. know? and the other, yeah, the other guys are like starting maybe six man. Right. Yeah. Maybe if six that. man. Right. Rejected. Don't you bring that weak tot? Ass. You go strong to your mouth, and you don't go at all. <laughs> Coney and tots satisfy your. An extra long chili cheese Coney and Tots. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. If you're looking to ramp up your ride, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has a special order center just for you. Your one-stop shop for everything you could ever want in parts and performance accessories. Everything from lift kits to cool custom accessories is ready for direct-to-your-door delivery or convenient in-store pickup. When you want the most complete selection of parts and accessories, the only place to go is the Special Order Center in Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. Well, right now we see Texas A&M still leading, but their lead's been cut in half since halftime. Take a moment to thank our Big 12 corporate partner, Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken. Sandwich. Cowboys much more aggressive here in the second half, and that's pointed out in the stats from first half to second. Not only, Stacey, are they shooting better, they're taking twice as many shots. Well, they're getting the ball inside, and they're trying to attack a little bit more, and they're starting to realize where the switches are. And they've made that adjustment at halftime. Down by as many as 15, now within five, the Cowboys. Things John Sutton telling us that he learned from his dad Eddie in game adjustments. He felt like his dad was as good as anyone in the country at that. And he says, if I could just be half as good as my dad at in game adjustments, I'm going to have a successful coaching career. Travel here by Terrell Harris. We had already Sean... inside and just kind of missed him and went kind of one on one in that situation. Sean Sutton stays off to a great start in his coaching career 16 and 2. Well, he's getting more and more comfortable with each passing moment as the head coach. Well, Eddie Sutton is one of the greatest coaches in college basketball history. And to be able to sit under him as he did, you knew he was going to be a very good coach. Texas A&M stays.
guys that settling for the long three from their big guys. Kind of a reversal of fortunes for these two teams. Well, Kavlowski's missed a couple of shots. They took him out. He's just not the same player. That's a strong That's move a strong by move. Cooper. Strong move by Cooper. Power dribbled it inside and just finished it with the right hand. Whistle and a foul inside. Again, it's Cooper and Jones fighting for position. Here it is right here. He just takes Jones, backs him down, and then a strong step through move with the right hand. I was watching Sean Sutton as they were going up the other way. He was screaming at the official. He wanted that to be a three-point opportunity. So Cooper has to take a break. This one, he was really getting going inside. Now he has to sit with three fouls, and Mons takes his place. Well, he gave him another option inside. Another turnover for the Aggies. Boy, they've let it all slip away. A comfortable 15-point margin now that tie is getting a little tight around the neck. Well, this Oklahoma State team now, you see Sean Sutton over there. He's over there getting his team pumped up. They've got a chance now to really make some noise. There's the mismatch. They've got to go inside now. Bobas got, he's got Kirk on him. They didn't see it. Curry. Trying to give it up to Mons. It's trapped down by Law. That situation right there, James on Curry's got to read that screen roll situation. Both of them wide open with Dominique Kirk on him in the block. That's a total mismatch. Jones. Stripped away. It'll stay with the Aggies. You saw Bogan right there. Did you see the reaction as he went by James on Curry? Come on, man. I had Kirk on me. Well, the, the, again, you have to recognize that as a guard. He's, if you got the switch with the big guy, Kavalovskis, on you, doesn't necessarily mean you got the mismatch. You got to realize that Bogan rolled down there with Dominique Kirk, and you got to get him the ball. You got to. If you're on the road, you got to get it to your best player. If you're leading four, you got to get him the ball. Pick up in transition. Now Bogan and loses the handle to Law. Kirk pulls up for three. Bogan with another rebound. He now has five. Reed Arena Electric tonight sold out for weeks in advance. One of the quickest sellouts in Texas A&M history. We're in College Station, Texas. With Stacey King, I'm Dave Armstrong. Watching two of the top 15 teams in the country going head-to-head -head here in the Big 12. Good back door. And a foul here on Kavalaskis. That'll send Marcus Dove to the line. Kavalaskis got the worst end of that foul. Here it is right here. Nice. Little back door. Dove goes strong. That's a hawkish move by Dove, isn't it? And Kavalaskis with the hard foul. And Kavalaskis took the worst of it. Got the, the brunt of it. Now pointing at his as he lays down on the court. Here comes Coach Gillespie in to take a look. As soon as the coach got there, Kavalaska started to pop up. All right, I'm all right. You know, Bill Gillespie doesn't really, uh, you know, he wants you out there playing. You know, everybody's got to fight for playing time on this team. You look at their bench, there's not an empty seat on that bench. That oh. whole bench is full of players. That bench, it extends down into the student <laughs> section. I thought some of them were students. Look at, look at how long that bench is. I mean, look at all the players on that yeah. bench. Those guys are licking their chops for playing time. Cavalos is like, I better get up here quick. And there's a row, too, too. There's a couple guys sitting behind him. <laughs> there's a lot of players. <laughs> he never has to worry about not having enough bodies to practice. This is like the no-cut rule. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the players. Now, Dove will go to the line to shoot a pair. A 65% free throw shooter. Dove, who fouled out at the 638 mark of that game against Texas. He had helped Durant to just 16 points in the first 33 and a half.
half minutes of that game, and then once he fouled out, Durant scored 21 points in the last 18 and a half minutes. Well, he's considered their best, you know, on-ball defender. They put him on the leading scorer with other teams, and he's a good athlete and really knows his role. Mm -hmm. But one thing you see in now Oklahoma State is with overplaying defense like Texas A&M, you can get back doors if you're patient. You push the dribble, look for the backdoor cut. Oklahoma State has exposed that a little bit now. They've got to have a couple possessions. They've got to continue it. Missed chance there. Two missed free throws for Dove. So it's still a three-point Aggie lead. Pompey dribbles in to take the uncontested shot from the free throw line. Crowd getting back in it. I should say so. Mons, charge, no basket. It is right here. He's got good post position. Pompey just gets back, repositions themselves, get the charge. As much as we talk about Dominique Kirk, Coach Gillespie will tell you that he thinks for his money, Pompey might be their best overall defender. Well, and Pompey is, is just not a reserve. He started 30 or 31 games last year, so he's, he's capable of coming out there and playing some good minutes for him. Good open look. Rebound Carter. And a blocking foul. Terrell Harris picks up the foul. That's his third. So a trio of players for the Cowboys with three fouls each. Sean's Tutton team has climbed all the way back in this one. They're within five at the 11.46 mark. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. Remember how we used to tell people you don't need a glass to drink in a draft in a bottle? Ah! What the? Oh, I'm hit! Ah! Yes! Well, I found a better way. It's called the TV commercial. Drink in a draft from the bottle, not a glass. Ah! Oh, I'm hit! A TV commercial. Brilliant! Brilliant! Please enjoy Guinness Draft responsibly. The Quiznos is like stacked with a bunch of meat and the Subway sandwich is like when you're in kindergarten and your mom throws some stuff together real quick. If I ran out of gas in front of a Subway place, I'd walk 10 blocks to get this. A lot of meat. A lot of meat. And you can actually see the meat coming out of the Quiznos sandwich there. Magnifico? Is that Italian? <laughs> Try Quiznos new ultimate Italian with a double portion of authentic Italian meats and cheeses. If you're not 100% satisfied, you'll get a free sub only from Quiznos. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Quit worrying and start smiling. Your car loan is approved. Now make the buy of a lifetime during the pre-owned blast-off sale only at Sterling Auto Group. 50 perfect pre-owned cars and trucks have been marked with pre-auction prices. This 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix is $13,988. $13,988. Sterling's lenders are standing by for fast credit approval. But hurry, first come, first sold. Sterling Auto Group on the bypass. the student section here with Texas A&M. Five-point advantage. Phillips 66, proud to be the presenting sponsor of Big 12 Basketball. Next time you're on empty, fill up with Phillips 66 quality pro-clean gasoline. Recognized as top tier. They help clean your engine as you drive. You know, coming with that student ticket, you got to know all the cheers. You, you can't just sit there and be just a spectator watching basketball. They'll kick you right on out of that section. Kick you out, man. You will be exposed. 
They oh, take yeah. that student section very serious down there. How about this crowd here tonight? 13,187. That's 11 more than watched the Texas A&M Texas game last year. Brand new record here at Reed Arena. And they haven't been cheated as Texas A&M leading right now by five, but they had a 15-point lead once upon a time. Oklahoma State's been able to get back into this game with high percentage shooting and good defense. Jones, he'll go to the line. Let's see who they've got. That's on Cooper, and that's number four on Kenny Cooper. Well, that, that's just poor recognition right there by the Cowboys. They've got to realize that Cooper's got three fouls. Somebody's got to come down there and help and probably Line dig in and try to help Jones. get that ball out of Jones' hands because he went right at him. So now what do you do with Cooper? Do you let him just go ahead and play with a four or get him out of there? Well, I, I think you got to let him play, but I think you got to give him some help. Anytime he's isolated on the block with Jones, someone's got to go down there and double team and get the ball out of his hands. And if he plays, you would expect the Aggies to recognize that, wouldn't you, Stacey? And they're going to go right after him. Go right at him. Jones is trying to get him in foul trouble all night long with strong post ups Breathing room now to lead back to seven for Texas A&M. The lob inside. Kavaloska's had to go right through his grasp. Logan pulls up. Dove trying to keep it alive. Kirk tracks it down. She's got to get some stops. No That's stop there. You get it right there. Cavalas is going right back down, just like he did in the first half. Getting low post position. James on Curry's got to touch the ball. Well, you got a mismatch right now. AC Law's down there fronting Bogan. And you got Cavalas on the top. Quick roll. Anytime Bogan gets the ball, he draws a lot of attention. Here it is right here. They get it to him inside. Quick move. Cavalosis comes over there. Looks like all ball. Without the foul, that might have been a candidate for the Sonic Tot exactly. rejection of the week. I think I would have recommended that one. <laughs> Third foul on Cavalosis. Bogan with the free throw. He's three for three from the line. Now eight points for Bogan with five rebounds. So Kavaloskis with three fouls, four fouls on Kenny Cooper. Now if you remember, Dave, when OSU started putting a little pressure on the ball before halftime, it started to really force Texas A&M to get out of their rhythm, started speeding up the pace a little bit. Interesting matchup here now with Dove guarding Law. Position by Cooper. Big strong rebound right there. Bogan limping as he comes up the court. Switch it again. Bogan's just got to post up. He's got a mismatch in there. Whoa. They try too hard to get it in there. Not a good angle. Well, what they're doing is they're switching. Texas AM is switching on that initial screen. When Bogut comes over to set the screen, he sets a pick on Law. He rolls right to the box. OSU's got to do a better job of getting the ball on that initial play, not swinging it to the other side. Good steal by James on Curry on the baseline. Here comes Eton. Now Dove. Oh, boy. That was unbelievable what he just did. So now Carter. Well, that's not a turnover you want to have right there. He just came down and got a good defensive stop, and he just threw it away. Cavalos gets a Jones free on the double team. Bad rotation by the Cowboys. Well, one thing about when you're playing in the Big 12 and you're playing against one of the top teams in the country, you've got to play the full 
40 minutes. You cannot take plays off defensively. Now Cooper is free. Can't get it to go. And if you're the Aggies, you want Cooper to shoot that That's shot. That's the shot you're going to give up right there. They're looking to go right into Kavaloskis right there. That's five on five. Cooper. You saw that coming. Part of that might have been the frustration in missing the jumper. Well, you knew they were going to go right at him. He's got four fouls. And if you got a good post player like Texas A&M has in Kavaloskis, all you got to do is get in the ball. Here it is right here. Just got low post position. Got him sealed. Got him on the backside. That's an easy call for the officials. And if you're Cooper, you got to be smart. You might as well try to circle him and maybe try to front Kavaloskis and not put yourself in that situation to get sealed on his back. Student section chanting out every step that Cooper makes. <laughs> so when those feet move, you'll hear the student section. Well, they're into this game. And they just got their own shooter by yelling, sit down. They scared me. <laughs> <laughs> they were right behind us. Their own player was shooting free throw. They're screaming when he's on the line. And they got to focus better. Curry for another three. Uh-oh. Throws up an air ball. And it goes straight out of bounds. So right now, OSU cannot lose their composure. They've got to do the little things that got them back into this game. That's good ball movement, solid defense, and rebounding. But Texas A&M is not allowing to run against them. Mm -mm. They're making a game and making them have to execute their offense in a half-court set. Behind the back by Law to Kirk for three. Pompey. And it comes down to Harris. Will be able to save it. What a quick move to get around Kavaloskis and Kavaloskis with his fourth foul. That's where they're at their best in transition. They want to get out and run. Wow, what a quick move that almost snapped the ankle of Kavaloskis. 48 39 with 7.51 left. Back after this from Phillips 66. No curb appeal. Hate the color. Oh, honey, this is it. Well, it's what you got there. It's an infestation. A lot of life happens in your car. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines help clean your engine as you drive. The pink wasn't so bad. So you can focus on more important things. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. Aaron cow. Cow. Yes, sweetie cow. Cow. Paul, where are the burgers? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's tasty chicken biscuits, chicken minis, or breakfast burritos. buys for lunch an all-you-can-eat buffet at Buffy's. For only six dollars you can have delicious barbecue brisket, sausage, beef, along with daily lunch specials and many side dishes. And there's more. At Buffy's six dollars includes a drink and the extensive salad bar. It doesn't stop there because at Buffy's if you're still hungry dessert is included too. Buffy's, the place to eat for lunch and the place to cater your next event too. 506 Sulphur Springs in Bryan. Hey, golf fans and club pros, start thinking about the 2007 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on to ESPNGolf.com, register your team, or sign up your golf course. Be a part of the search for America's best twosome. 
Well, here's a sign of a good big man, Dave. Never stops moving. He's going to work himself across the lane. Go ahead and roll it. He gets good low post position now right there. They're going to enter the ball in. Now freeze it. He sees the double team right here. Now, Jones is going to make a quick backdoor cut. The Oklahoma State guard is right there. Doesn't see him. Go ahead and roll it. Just a nice bounce pass to Jones right there for an easy two. That's a great combination when both your big men can run the double team and they play off each other. And they've been doing that all season long. And again, it's part of that one-two punch now for the Aggies inside. Used to just be Joseph Jones, and then Kavaloskis would be in there to take up some space, get some rebounds and such. Now they're both very effective with or without the ball. Well, when you start talking about the NCAA tournament, you've got to have low post presence down there because when the game becomes a half-court game and you have to execute, you've got to have big guys out there that can really demand respect in the post. Texas a and has that in both Jones and Kavaloskis. Newton now three of five from the line. Kavaloskis, by the way, cooling his heels on the bench. He has four fouls in this game to go along with his 12 points. A seven point game here. And the numbers are improving for the Cowboys. Their field goal percentage was down in the teens at one point. And three point shooting really keeping them in the game. But the points in the paint, that's where the Aggies have had the advantage all night long. Well, they've tried to expose the inside of uh, Oklahoma State being smaller. The Cavaloskis came out with some big energy. Carter. Well, he's smart in that his three point shot stays has been working. So instead of just settling for that, he drove the ball. Well, that's what you want to see. I mean, he saw that Oklahoma State came out and closed out on him. He just put the ball on the floor. And that's what shooters have to do. When you're a three-point shooter like him, he gets the respect from all the teams. He's got one to put that ball on the floor. And you've seen him do that tonight. You can be a good shooter, but it's more important to be a good scorer. Exactly. And I think that's the transition that Carter's starting to make. And he's getting better defensively. He knows that to be out on that floor, it doesn't matter if you score on this team, you've got to play defense on the Gillespie team. Eton bumped into a wall with Pompey. No, no basket. Shot clock had expired. And that's a great defensive sequence by Texas A&M. They moved their feet. They let Oklahoma State run half the clock down and forced them into a turnover and a bad shot. I'm wondering what's happened to James on Curry for the Cowboys since he hit that three. He's hardly touched the ball. Checking back in Marcus Dove for Oklahoma State. Well, this is one of these situations when you're one of the go-to players and you're on the road, you've got to demand that basketball. Yep. And Bogans or Curry have to start demanding that basketball and trying to take over. Law only five points tonight. He's been averaging more than 20 in his last four games. Still plenty of time. Shot clock at now at 10. Pompey. Great ball fake. Well, they had a high-low situation right there with Joseph Jones. He just exploded to the basket. The lead that had dwindled to three is back to 11. Second on Jones. Here it is right here. Pompey just a nice ball fake. It just exploded to the basket. You see, one thing you're seeing right now is that Texas Tech really gets after you on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma State is probably not used to seeing this type of pressure this season. This team is, every time Oklahoma State makes a run, Texas A&M answers it, but their defense is really in your face every time you have the basketball. There's no easy shot. Pompey will come out to the cheers of this crowd. Kavaloskis back in with four fouls. Bogan now with 11 points. Six of those have come from the line. 
Now, if you're going to beat a Texas A&M type team, you're going to have to beat them with patience and try to exploit some of the matchups that they do on this switching. And Oklahoma State did that for a little bit. Now they've gotten away from it. Bogan, only two field goals in this game. He has only eight field goals in his last three games against the Aggies. Well, this is this is a situation here. Big time players make big plays. The guys have to step up in these situations. Curry throws it into the bench. Boy, she's just out of sync right now. They can't find any rhythm on the offensive end. That's 18 turnovers for the Cowboys. And you see Curry, first half, he exploded. Came out in the second half, hit that three, and then he's kind of disappeared ever since then. Well, this defensive pressure, I mean, you look at them, they're playing solid defense and it's forcing Oklahoma State to do things that they're not accustomed to doing. No basket. Foul came first. Foul came on the double team. And that'll be on Bogan. And that's three on Bogan. One and one opportunity here for Jones. Boy, it's so huge when you can have your big man, a guy that's going to get fouled more than anyone else, shoot free throws the way that Jones can. That's big in the tournament. It's bonus points, isn't it? That's big in the tournament. If you got a guy down there who's going to demand double teams and get fouled, he gets up there to be able to knock those free throws down. And he's six of seven tonight. Take a look at our assist leaders brought to you by Cargill. Collaborate, create, and succeed. And our assist leaders in the conference. You saw DJ Augustine. Boy, what a talent he is. They have a Texas. lot of talent down there in Texas. And they're young. And they're going to be a force to be reckoned with at the, at the end of the season. And they're getting a lot of experience. Harris for three. Nope. Jones makes it one and done. Under five to go. Texas A&M just wears you down. Just wears you down physically as well as mentally. Looks like it's going to be another opponent, Stacy, that will not go over 70 points. Oh, and I'm telling you, that's a, that's a real good stat. I mean, that tells you how good this team really is. Tie up here. The arrow will give it back to the Aggies. You know, everything that they're doing now, the Aggies, it's almost unprecedented. Right now, they're ranked for the 11th straight week. That's a school record. The old record was only eight. Eight straight weeks they've been ranked. Your Sooner team was ranked every week you played there, wasn't it? Well, you know what? I, I, I never experienced being uh, lower than 10. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but, no. you know, I, you know, I played on some great teams down in Oklahoma. We're, we're used to being in the top 10. If we were lower in the top 10, it was a disappointment, so I, I never really experienced that. The highest ranking ever for the Aggies, sixth, that happened this year. Well, they deserve it. I mean, just watching them here, they're a very good team. So 4-12 remaining. Do the Cowboys have another run in them, or can the Aggies hold them off? Come back to find out. I really like this breakfast bistro sandwich. Oh, this bacon great. is great. Well, you know, in Italy, bacon is called pancetta. How do you know that? As a guy, I pretty much know everything there is to know about bacon. It's encoded into our DNA at birth. I have some things encoded on my DNA. Oh, yeah? I like I'm able to sense when you're just full of it. Bacon breakfast bistro sandwich, only at Sonic. Bacon, eggs, and cheese on toasted ciabatta bread. Try one with the cranberry juice or any other juice, because Sonic is your ultimate drink stop. Remember how we used to tell people you don't need a glass to drink in a strapped in a bottle? Ah! What the? Oh, I'm hit! Ah! Yes! Well, I found a better way. It's called the TV commercial. Drink in a draft from the bottle, not a glass. Ah! Oh, I'm hit! A TV commercial. Brilliant! Brilliant! Please enjoy Guinness Draft responsibly. All businesses start out as ideas. At Shelter, the idea was simple. Offer great insurance, great performance, and great agents. That way, people can concentrate on the really important parts of life. So, while you're doing things like this, we manage to do this. And if you ever do something like this, it's good to know this. At Shelter, we take care of things so you can get on with your life. Remember the anticipation of hearing the ice cream truck? 
In Poland, Cargill borrowed the idea for something quite different. Small Polish farms had difficulty getting affordable feed for their smaller herds of animals. So Cargill created a way to bring the feed directly to them on musical delivery trucks, selling a few bags per visit. Keeping the small farmers competitive and their animals happier. And this is how Cargill works with customers. A little more breathing space now for the Aggies, leading 54-45. Take a look at our Red Lobster. Nothing but net shot of the game. Little glass, but no rim. It is Kavalos right here, posted up. Getting good post position like he's been doing all night. Posting up in there, he's got both of them posted up. Stacey, we were talking about unprecedented territory, uncharted waters for the Aggies and Billy Gillespie and what they've been able to do. And last year, they went to the NCAA tournament as an at-large bid, first at-large bid in Aggie history. And Billy Gillespie was telling me back at the Big 12 meetings in October, he said, Dave, when we sat there and watched that on TV as Laurel Street to the end of the court, in a basket, he said, I got a tear in my eye. And he said, he started to tear up when he was telling me about it. He said, the moment there where you had this big challenge in front of us to try to make an NCAA tournament, it was the first time the Aggies had been since 1987. And to see the emotion in that room when they were selected to go. And they had a good showing, too. They're not going to have to sit and wait this year. No, this is, like I said, this is one of the best defensive teams that I've seen this year. They're going to get a high seed the way they're playing right now. They're going to be one of the top six or eight seeds in the country if they keep this going. Well, I tell you, it's going to be tough to beat them because they play extraordinary defense. So we've got another timeout. Come back and tell you more about the impressive turnaround of the Aggies. This is our country. This is our truck, the all-new Chevy Silverado. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. Experience is an excellent teacher. And what over 45 years of experience has taught Oppenheimer Funds is the strength of a balanced approach and the effectiveness of a diversely skilled team. Valuable lessons that guide us through an ever-changing financial landscape. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Personal, reliable, simply unbeatable. Oscar and Sons, your neighbor, your friend, your trusted team. Your body shop specials make it easy. Chapel Collision Center, Estimation Station, and Oscar and Sons. Three great things, one great family. Personal, reliable, simply unbeatable. Oscar and Sons. Tonight's Big 12 game brought to you by Phillips 66. Next time you're empty, fill up with Conoco and Phillips 66. Quality propane gasolines. By Sonic. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. By Chevrolet. Check out the all-new Silverado today. By Shelter Insurance. For your insurance needs, visit shelterinsurance.com to find the shelter agent near you. Seek shelter today. And by Quiznos. Mmm, toasty. Well, lots to cheer about if you're an Aggie fan tonight. Looks like they're going to go to their 16th win of the year. Best start here since 1960 when the Aggies also went 
16 and 2 to begin the year. Kavalaskis with 13 points now, matching the 13 scored by Joseph Jones. And the lead is back to 13 for Texas A&M. They had a 15-point lead in the first half. It was trimmed to three at the start of the second half, but then Billy Gillespie's team started to pull away again. Well, they picked it up defensively. Started off slow to start of the second half, but they really picked it up defensively. Another turnover. That's 19. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb. You're not going to beat a top-ranked team turning the ball over as much as uh, Oklahoma State has tonight. Looks like the drought's going to continue for the Cowboys against top 10 teams on the road. They haven't beaten one since they won at Kansas in 1958. Will Chamberlain was on that team for the Jayhawks. Wow. 36 straight losses to top 10 teams on the road for the Cowboys. And you consider in their last six years, they're going to be 12 and 12 against top 10 teams, but 0 and 8 on the road during that stretch. Well, though Oklahoma State has struggled, this is still a very good basketball team. Yes. And they are going to cause teams problems in the Big 12. This is one of the better teams in the Big 12. They have struggled today, but this is a team that you really are going to have to really pay attention to because they're going to get to the NCAA tournament, and they may have a chance to win the I, I, I agree with you. This is more about what the Aggies are doing as opposed to what the Cowboys are not. Exactly. Dove whipped it around to Bogan and then just whipped right by him. That was a fastball under the chin. Well, just a lot of turnovers. And again, with a defense like Texas A&M, with all the pressure, you can't afford to turn the ball over as much as they have today, especially on the road. Resurgence of basketball here. Yeah, we call it resurgence, but they really didn't have any history. So it's not like, you know, all oh, they had this great, tremendous tradition here of college basketball. This is all new stuff. Well, well Billy Gillespie's done a great job of really restoring respectability here at Texas A&M. And the one thing he's done is, is he's been able to recruit in Texas. Yes. And get some of the oh. best players from the Houston area and keep an in-state talent at home. And then you draw these crowds, these record-breaking crowds. With that come the big donors, more money coming into the program. And now they're building new practice facilities for both the men and the women. They're each going to have their own practice court, which is all in vogue now. These guys are spoiled these days. Well, they are spoiled. Every time I come to one of these arenas, I'm like, man, we didn't have this. And, and, and we, were, we, were, we were in the top ten. We didn't have this type. But you know what? I look at it like this. You know, when you win, people will come. That's right. And this is a good atmosphere down here. I mean, you look at the football program and the fan support they get here. You know, they're starving for a winning basketball team. They're just waiting for this team to really get up there with some of the elite teams, and they're on their way because they've got a great coach. So Harris foul out of the game, the second Cowboy to be eliminated from this contest. He joins Kenny Cooper, who fouled out with four points. Harris fouls out with six. Now, on the flip side of that with Oklahoma State, you realize that, you know, when you go down to gallagher Iba, you know, you're in this type of environment, too. That's one of the best places to play, too, in college basketball. Curry was looking for Hatch. Looking for the hatch door, really. But it had closed. Well, the hatch was closed there, Dave. And they're frustrated right now. I mean, they, they know they could play better. You know, they had that, that big blowout loss at Kansas. Yeah, right now, the Cowboys not looking for the hatch door. They're looking for the exit door. <laughs> Is that bus running right now? Yeah, they just want to get out of here now. Well, and then you also got to take it. They're, they're missing freshmen in the conference. Obi Munello, who's one of the best freshmen in the conference, and uh, he's out with a broken leg. And that really hurts him, too, because he brings energy and toughness to this team, and they can't wait to get him back. Coach Sutton was telling us today that he thinks they're going to get Munello back maybe by late February, early March. And it's frustrating right now because he's yep. the type of player that, that can really come out and give some energy to this team tonight, and he's not there, and that hurts him. It's got to be frustrating for him to sit there and watch the action and not participate. Very talented freshman. Hope for the Cowboys' sake that he is coming back. Hey, Big 12 action continues next Saturday on ESPN+. First, it's Colorado and Kansas, as it'll be a big showdown between the 
Jayhawks and the Buffs. And Bob Knight and his Texas Tech Red Raiders heading to Columbia, Missouri. I'll be there as the Tigers try to protect their home court. ESPN Plus's coverage of Big 12 basketball starts next Saturday at 12.30. foul here on Kirk. You know, since we were talking about James on Kirk getting his 16 points and how Kirk had kind of slipped a little bit, from that moment on, he put a blank Curry. Curry still at 16 points. He has gone about the last 16 minutes of this game without any points at all. Well, Texas a and done a great job of also helping Kirk. I mean, Kirk's played great man-to-man -man defense, but anytime James on Curry comes off the screen, there's someone in his chest waiting for him. And he hasn't had the good looks that he's accustomed to getting. I mean, like I said, this is a Texas A&M team that does not relax on defense. They do not take plays off on the defensive end. And that's why I think they have a chance to go deep into the tournament because they do play defense every possession. Mm -hmm. And you start looking at some of these top teams, you know, that's what separates the top teams from the pretenders. These are the guys that continue to play defense. They play on both ends. They're just not offensive minded. They play on both ends. And we have a technical foul called after the free throw. Mark Whitehead, the umpire. Mario Bogan with a technical foul. I didn't see what happened. A little tangled up there. Just he frustration and, right now. Yep, he and Kavalaskis got tangled up going for the rebound off the free throw. Mario Bogan saying he grabbed my shirt, so I pulled his back out. And Law has had an off night as far as his normal scoring, but he does have 14 points. And he's gotten that pretty much at the end of the game yep. right now when they have, they've really opened up the court, forcing Oklahoma State to have to try to foul and put some pressure on him. He's able to go one-on-one. -on -one. How about the Aggies tonight? Another thing they did well, 22 of 25 from the line as a team. That right there is the difference in the ball game. But they can get to the foul line like that and then convert on the free throws. So the Aggies will go to 16 and 2 on the year. Cowboys. 16 and 3, 2 and 2 in the Big 12 for the Cowboys. 4 and 0 for the Aggies in sole possession of first place. That's got to be a first. I'm just thinking, I don't think the Aggies have ever had sole possession of first place in the Big 12 ever. Well, they, they've earned it. I mean, you know, they're playing good basketball right now. Now you see they're bringing out guys, getting a standing ovation. But they are a very good basketball team. Well coached. And a bump by Kirk will send Curry back to the line. And that'll do it for Kirk. He fouls out. But again, we talk about when you come on the road in the Big 12, you know, anybody can be beat on any given day in the Big 12. And the situation coming here, you're playing the number eight team in the country. Oklahoma State really got off on the bad on the bad foot early by turning the ball over, taking a lot of outside jump shots, not exposing and attacking them inside, and really got themselves down. But they did make a run at them, just couldn't get over the, the hump. They'll forget all about it by the time Monday comes when the Sooners show up and still oh, definitely, for definitely. Bedlam. They're gonna be they'll forget about this game. This, you know, that's like a national championship type game when the Sooners come rolling into town. The term Bedlam actually started in wrestling when the Sooners and Cowboys went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and it carried over to all sports. Anytime the Sooners and Cowboys meet, it's Bedlam. Exactly. And the one thing that the Cowboys really have to be aware of with Oklahoma is that they play defense just like Texas A&M. I mean, you know, they're not, they don't, they're not the typical Oklahoma team that you're used to seeing, but they are one of the better defensive teams in the Big 12. So they'll get after Oklahoma State on Monday. AC Law back to the line. AC Law, who 
still looks back at that 5A state championship game when he was playing for Dallas, a high school out of Dallas, and his team lost the state championship game on a half-court shot at the buzzer. Oh, that has to hurt. Oh. That, that must bother him still. Still, when he wakes up, he thinks about that. Yeah. I think the only thing will make that go away if he can win an NCAA championship. And even then, it might not. Yeah. I feel his pain because, you know, I, you know, when I lost the national championship game to Kansas, that still bothers me. So I feel him. Can't wait to get you and Chris Piper hooked up to the ah, 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 tournament ah, this year. Ah, huh? You guys ah, had a little ah, reunion. <laughs> oh, we'll have an interesting conversation. I can't wait. To oh, be, my goodness. We'll fly on the wall listening oh, to that conversation. Oh, Chris Piper. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's the sooner killer. He had the greatest game of his life in the national championship game. <laughs> Whoa.